Hey guys, what's happening? In this video, I am going to be showing off a new mod that was just released by my good friend Death Cradle over on the Terraria forums. It's called TDSM, or Terraria's Dedicated Server Mod. I know, very original. I actually came up with a name. Anyway, as you can see here, if you go to GitHub, you can follow him, you can look at all of the source code, and uh, for all you plugin developers uh, who are experienced with C Sharp, he has a TDSM plugin folder, and in that folder, he actually has an example of a plugin. So you kind of given the tools to start off your editing. So basically, the pros of using this uh, server mod as opposed to the built-in game server host is that it's multi-platform, so it'll work on Linux. However, the connections are not quite finished for it yet. It's uh, fairly low in memory, depending on the size of the map does not require a GPU but because of this uh, you have to use command prompt or a command program um, it also has the added functionality of an API easy plugin support, um, plug support and it has the options to set your player um, player cap map size uh, specifically the map size you can set how many long um, how many blocks wide and how many blocks tall and yeah, as I mentioned before, another benefit is that it's open source, so it can be picked up and developed if uh, if it ends up getting abandoned, but I don't see that happening. So basically, once you download it from uh, the Terraria forum, I will have a link, and the download link will be at the top of the forum page. So basically, you'll have terraria underscore server dot exe. Now, uh, you need, at the moment, you're going to have to have the .NET Framework installed, uh, 3.5 preferably, but uh, if you have version 4 it will also work. So basically you have the Terraria server.exe and you just run it. So here we go, it's creating the world. As it's creating the world, uh, you also get a service properties. Uh, it adds a world uh, folder to your default, or to the uh, default directory, uh, as well as plugins and the playlist. Alright, so once this is finished loading, we're just going to open up Terraria. And we're going to get a multiplayer join. Okay, so because I'm hosting this on my computer, the IP address localhost will uh, pretty much always work for you. So here we are, the plugin has finished our making. Uh, the uh, server has finished making. As you can see, we have our world here. It's just a small one by default. We can open it up. Uh, the port just by default is 777. And here we have it. Uh, I've just joined the world. Everything works. No lag. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I can't pick anything up at the moment because I have a full inventory, but, you know, that's, that's completely on my end, not on the servers. As you can see, when I joined the game, it, uh, it said Tristan has joined and it also gave the IP address. Now because I'm playing on localhost, it gave me my local IP address. So uh, basically there's a few things you can do once you have the dedicated server mod open. And uh, to see these commands, type help. And so we have a few commands here. We have exit, reload, list, players, me, say, save all, and help, which obviously shows the help function. Okay, so if we wanted to reload the plugins we have installed, we would just type reload. Now, obviously at the moment, don't have any plugins, this isn't going to work. So, uh, other things like this, list, it tells the current players that are online at the moment, that's just me. Uh, players also works, and the reason there's two things that do the same function is just because um, the words are very similar. People will often type list when they're looking for players online, and some people will type players, so it's just for convenience sake of the user. Now, um, you can actually say things to the online player, so as you can see there, I typed hello, and in the server it said hello. And save all. So this saves the world manually. Um, the world still does save automatically. It's on the Terraria save time clock, which is either 15 or 30 minutes. So uh, once, you, once you have all this done, if you go back to the server uh, tab and you edit the server properties, you can actually change the maximum amount of players, the, uh, the default server IP, um, the seed, the map size, and uh, the actual specific map size, and also where it's saved. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say on this mod at the moment. It's still being developed. Like I said, check out the links in the uh, description below. Now, if you want other people to be able to join and play with you on your server, um, it depends how you do it. If you're at a LAN, basically you're going to have to log into your router and see everyone's local IP. So a local IP is something like 127.0.0.50, something like that. Um, but yeah, there's pro um, your router should be able to tell you that. Now, if you want to play it online, you're going to have to have your IP address. So you go to whatsmyip.org, and there you go. It tells you your IP. You save this, and you send it to uh, whoever you want on your server. Uh, but basically, um, it's also important to note that in the server properties, you do have a port. The default port is 777, and if you want people to be able to connect to your games, you have to make an exception for this port in your firewall. Um, you can do this, well, you know, there's plenty of guides on the internet on how to do this, or you can just completely disable your firewall. I don't recommend that one, but hey, whatever works, right? And you actually will need to then go into your router and uh, chain, uh, and forward the port 777. Once again, I'm not going to do a video for this either because it's different with every router. Uh, much the same as ch um, changing the port in the firewall is different with every firewall. I mean, the whole overview of it is generally the same, but it's, it's always going to be different. So you're going to have to look up how to port forward on your own. But yeah, I hope this video helps. Um, be sure to check out and download this program. Um, enjoy.